Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Why do I feel like this camera is down? All right, yeah. What's going on today? 9.15 a.m. right now. I'm trying to leave the house early. I need to go to Ikea to get some house plans. I usually get my house plans from Ikea because they're affordable. Ikea is one of those stores that when I go through it, I go through it. I want to avoid all of that and go straight to the plants, get what I need and get out and then go to the other stores that I need to go to because I need to be back here before 3.30. I have a contractor coming by to measure my backyard. Also, I want to make a stop at either Lowe's or Home Depot to pick up some supplies for a DIY project that I want to start next week. Um, Target, Home Goods, y'all. Pray that I make it back on time because that contractor is going to be mad if I don't. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on today. All right, guys, let me get out of here. I will see you guys later. Stay to the morning, tell me you want it You know I go on and on Cause you're too important I'm honest, too honest No, if you touch me, I'm gone Barely made it, but we still made it. I saw him pulling into my driveway when I was coming into the subdivisions He did his thing in the backyard. That's done. I couldn't even update you guys while I was out Cause I was just like, go, go, go. I got to Ikea that place was empty. I feel like people have caught on to the fact that Ikea be having some good affordable plants. Everybody went and picked theirs up, except for me. The only large plants that they had were some palm trees. <laughs> I don't want no palm trees. I didn't get the plants, but I did get some things that I am excited about. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from the store. But before I do that, I bought some chicken from Trader Joe's that I wanna season first so it can be marinating while I'm showing you guys what I got. from Target, this reed diffuser from Casalona. And I picked up these measurement cups from Target as well. They are by this brand, Hearth and Hand. I love the aesthetic, it's super cute. That is it for Target. After leaving Target, went to TJ Maxx and this is what I saw. On sale for 150. When I saw this for that price, I said thank you. I would gladly take you home with me because that's a steal. And then I went to Ross. Ross is one of those stores that I feel like I never go in there for a reason. I just stop in there and see if I can find something. And this is what I found. This marble candle holder. The camera is not doing any justice to how beautiful this thing is. I'm struggling to even lift this up. That's how heavy it is. It is well made. And you guys are ready for the price? $5.49. I feel like this is something I would find in those high-end home stores. All right, let's move on to the boring stuff. I went to Lowe's. Why is this so like in my face? child that thing was all the way up there anyways i got these lights from lowe's i am going to be putting them under the cabinet initially i was going to order it from amazon like the strips one that you can charge with a usb charger but i saw these they were on sale so i picked it up uh got some stuff from walmart and i got some light bulbs I need to open that. I think those are some perfume. And then let's get to what I got from Ikea. This was $17 and it's really heavy. The quality on this thing is really good. And I like how it come with a top. I don't know if I'm gonna use it with the top, but I like the fact that it come with it. Some light bulbs, more light bulbs. I also got these. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do with these, but I got three of them. 
I got this light fixture. While I was walking to the register, I saw this one in the clearance section for 50% off. So I decided to get it. I wanna spray paint this matte black. I feel like this would be really cute in the eating area. I'm gonna finesse this and make it look like a million bucks. I got some perfume from Desir. This year, I got the floral marshmallow. It's supposed to be inspired by Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And then I got the Woody Sage. This one is inspired by Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I actually have the Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So it will be interesting to compare. Last but not least, I have Amber Vetiver. And this one is supposed to be inspired by Byredo Board Afrique. I also have the original to that, so I can't wait to try these out and see if they are the same. I also stopped at the Nike outlet, oops, and got some sports bra. We're back in the gym, we're working out, so I had to stock up in all my favorite color, black and white. But I got this one, this is super cute. Yes, I'm laying these on the floor. I am going to wash them. I think this is from their yoga line. And then I got this basic one. I got this one. And then I got the same thing in white. I know, boring, but they will go with everything. This one, it has this crisscross back to it, which is super cute. Let me show you guys what's going on in this house today. I am working on these walls. This is the other side of the entryway. Decided to do this paneling and the style that I chose is like a raised paneling. I wanted something simple but not too simple so I did like this large middle part. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see how I'm doing it. These are just some flat tempered board that I use to make the shape and then I'm filling in the boxes with the chair rail to give it a little bit more oomph and I'm thinking about painting the entire thing the wall color. I did this side a week ago so I went ahead and filled in all of the nail holes with some speckle and I'm gonna go over it and smooth it out. I'm still trying to figure out what paint color I want to paint this with. That's why I have these different paint colors. Over here I am about to start on this wall right here. I'm just gonna be using the molding. So I decided to go with a larger size molding compared to the entryway. And these are the tools that I'm using for this project. My nail gun, caulking gun. Initially, I was cutting the molding with my miter saw, but trying to get the correct measurement was just a pain. So I ended up ordering this off of Amazon and it measured the 45 degrees perfectly it pretty much made this whole thing so much faster i mistakenly ordered two so i'm gonna return this one i also got a laser to kind of help me keep things level and measure correctly so i'm gonna get started on this wall and i will come back and show you guys Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm going to be tackling another project in the house and that is these pendant lights. I already took this one out to kind of see how it would come out and it was pretty easy. So a week ago, I had an electrician come in and did an estimate on installing light fixtures in different areas of the house and his estimate was pretty steep. But in that process, he kind of gave me an idea and that was instead of replacing seeing all of the light fixtures I can just change the light shade and that would actually give the light fixture an upgrade I think I've already shown you guys this the other day I was at Ikea and I got these light shade and they're pretty big I also went on Amazon and got these I don't know what to call these but they go inside of this to kind of hide this thing right here I also plan on spray painting these to this gold color. It's a really pretty gold color. I'm gonna turn the breaker off 
and remove these and then start painting them let it dry for like a day before i go ahead and install these light shade and i'm still working on the walls i went back to the store and got more molding so i will be working on finishing this wall in the next few days all right guys here's how the pendant lights are looking i've already painted all of it i added the glass to this one and it's turning out really good i'm still waiting for the rest of these to dry i had some scratches on it so i went ahead and repainted them once those are dry i'm gonna add the glass to the rest of these and i also changed the light bulb when i was getting this light shade from ikea i went ahead and purchased these light bulbs they were the same light bulb that was on display with these pendants it looked really good together once once I add the rest of the light shade, I will come back and show you guys the final result. Let's move on to the wall progress. The wall is coming along. All of the nail holes are filled. I'm waiting for that to dry and then I'm going to sand it down. Once that's done, everything is dry. I'm going to go ahead and do the caulking and get this ready for priming. And the primer that I am going to be using is this right here. all right y'all here is the wall it is pretty much done i'm just waiting for it to dry and then i'm gonna remove the tape from the bottom then do the baseboard the paint that came with the house is a flat paint the paint that i'm using on this wall have a either extra or satin i don't know if they're the same but one of those that's what i'm using on this wall is the exact same paint color but with a different finish and from what i heard eggshell or satin finish is more durable so i decided to kind of wrap it around on this wall because this is the same paint i'm going to be using in the entryway as well on this wall and this wall right here and then i am going to paint this bottom part a different color all right guys here are the light it looked better than i anticipated let me give you guys a close up i think this work out perfectly and i really like the outcome it's super clean and minimum exactly how i wanted it to be A few weeks later the walls are finally completed and here's the reveal this was a really good way to elevate these walls and add some interest without doing too much on this side of the entryway this wall took forever to complete i underestimated how large this wall is i still need to go in and do some touch up here and there but for the most part the wall is done the pink color that i use on this bottom part is called tricon black by sharon william i will make sure to leave the name in the description i'm thinking about doing another coat on the bottom because i'm seeing some streaks i also painted the island the same color and I like how it turned out. That is it for this vlog i hope you enjoyed the video if you made it this far make sure to hit that like button i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button to keep up with all of the updates that are going on around this house <music>